What's going on everyone? This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. Yeah, kind of not a lot going on in the market today, as Dan said, in the den. Uh, Taking a look at the E-mini right now, closing up about 0.11%. Uh, you know, it really is interesting, this recovery. I mean, seriously. You know, you have this movement up and we're all like, okay, yeah, yeah, light volume, and it does come right back down, like anticipated, then boom, right up to the top. We'll see what the Fed wants to do. Uh, this coming week, week, trading right under 5,700 uh, in the futures. You have the gold contract trading at 2,609. Copper doing all right, pretty strong at 426. Uh, the NQ is off a little bit today, uh, trading at 19,661. Those Russell futures up about 0.34% uh, at 2,213. Uh, not much uh, reaction uh, from silver, but still trading at 3,109. I uh, hope Mike's been doing well. I mean, again, you know, some nice movement up, but... We'll see what happens with it. Dow Futures trading at 42,057. Disney doing okay. I'd like to see that more than I like to see it the other way. Trading at 9185. Not really any insane news going on and kind of low volume. So we'll see if we traverse uh, back down to that 85 level, which I could totally see being possible for that stock. And then crude trading at 7044. The dollar up about. Uh, well, excuse me, off about 0.4%, trading at 170, of course. If you get lower interest rate, that dollar is going to go down even more, and uh, we're going to rock out. Let's take a look at Boeing. Uh, pretty bad, you know, halts on the 737s until they can prove uh, that they're not incompetent. Trading at 155.55 right now. They had strikes. I mean, that's like the perfect storm, right? Like, you're getting... Mess up on future orders potentially, right? You've had everything going on with Boeing, and now you have guys, uh, factory workers, striking. And Boeing is planning to freeze hiring and reduce travel, and is considering temporary layoffs to save cash during a factory worker strike that began last week. The company said the moves, which include reduced spending on suppliers, were necessary because our business is in a difficult period. That is a uh, an extraordinary understatement. Um, yeah, some more weird stuff happening again. If they didn't. They weren't so ingrained with the government in a lot of ways. I think this company would be in uh, much more dire straits. Folks, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. with Tommy O'Brien in the Morning Market Kickoff, followed by uh, Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Larry, and then we're going to be on at 3 for the Tom O'Brien Show with Basil Chapman and Tim Ord. Take care.